Yes, oh yes. Oh, okay. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Okay. 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 Yo, it's the deal. I just want everyone to know how dedicated Lone Wolf, the sixth composer, is. I will still do videos even when I'm sick. Oh my god, I hate being sick. And you're not helping. Why don't you go in the kitchen and make me some soup? Hmm? Go in the kitchen and make me some soup. Okay, maybe that was too much. Um, <clears throat> yo. I did a video on whether or not homosexuality is a choice. First of all, let me say this. I'm not going to get on here and I'm just not going to pump out shit, bullshit out of the side of my ears. The definition of homosexuality on dictionary.com is as follows. It has one and then two. Okay, which means multiple definitions. <clears throat> and the definitions are as follows. Homosexuality. Number one, sexual orientation to persons of the same sex. Okay, so that's just sexual orientation to persons of the same sex. Second definition is sexual activity with another of the same sex. So one is orientation and the other is activity. Okay, so... There's two different forms of homosexuality. <laughs> and you have to pay attention to that. Because if there's two different types, as described in the definition in the dictionary, then maybe one of those types has a choice. But, of course, I haven't proven that part yet. I've just proven that there's two different types. <coughs> which is what I've tried to prove in my video that people really don't listen to. I think they get a little bit sensitive about the issue and really don't listen to the factorials. I provided two links um, to two, well not two different, assortment of medical doctors that have discussed links in between genetics, hormones, and homosexuality. And I'm really not going to go into it into extreme extremes because I don't really feel like it. I'm just going to provide the link and then if you feel so opinionated to comment against the things that I've said in my videos then you can read it yourself. <coughs> um, but I mean it kind of argues back and forth but there are some factors and um, basically hormones are responsible for activating specific neural circuits which in turn cause sex specific behavior okay and what that tells me is that hormones are responsible for certain sexual behaviors essentially you can find that in the first link that I will post um, and this was this information was gathered it's very difficult because I have to read like all throughout the page and I didn't really study it because I'm just getting back home but I wanted to kind of add just the key elements of what I was trying to say and how that um, correlates to what's being said in these articles about hormones, genes, and the link to um, sexual function and let me make it also clear again that like I've made it in my video that I'm not speaking on all people who will be considered homosexuals. I'm speaking of a certain fraction of the community. Okay, so I can't find that doctor, but like I said, I'm gonna post the link for this <clears throat> so that people can look it up for themselves. But then I'm also gonna place another link, which is um, on another report that was done on US researchers find evidence that homosexuality is linked to genetics. And I guess that'll be really easy to find because you can also Google it and it'll pop up. And 
U.S. researchers are finding common biological traits among gay men. Feeding a growing consensus that sexual orientation is an inborn combination of genetic and environmental factors that largely decide a person's sexual attractions before they are born. So, if it decides what you'll be sexually before you're born, <laughs> then is that a choice? <laughs> or was that something within genetics that makes you that way? And I just wanted to make those statements and then allow the people who are making arguments in my blog to actually read this information that has not concretely as much as it's been argued against. Um, it, it hasn't been proven false, nor has it been proven 100% accurate. But there, there has been evidence and there are studies that are being done um, that show that this is a uh, likelihood and a possibility. And a and, and matter of fact, some of the issues actually have been proven if you read the article. But I'll be copying and pasting that for all of you little um, rebels who got emotionally wrapped up and wanted to argue me down. But like I said, when I, when I make statements, I research them and I make sure that there's a basis for me making the statement. And I'm very tired right now and I'm, I don't want to argue or debate right now. But by the time you probably respond to it, I'll be back up to strength and be ready to tear your ass, uh, uh, you asshole. No, I'm just kidding. I just, um, I, I like to open up my mind to different things and I like to study information like that because I think it's important for people to keep an open mind and to look at um, situations for the reality that they are and, and move on and, and, and move on in, in, in a, uh, in a more enlightened fashion and not just keep a closed mind and say, oh, genetics don't affect it. I think uh, common sense would tell you genetically if it controls our skin color, it controls, uh, it con it controls our, the way that we look, it controls um, some of our actions. Um, um, <clears throat> genetics is linked to a lot of things and hormones and the you know, intake of hormones and, and all these different things of course it's going to affect us in our sexuality. But a lot of people are just very close-minded and don't want uh, to discuss a sensitive issue like that and want to just basically close the door and just say, oh, this is the way it is and I know and you don't know and da 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 You bring me a factual that argues my point, like I'm bringing to you. And that's all i got to say. Two Fingers, then along with Six and Poet. Much love. Y'all have a wonderful weekend, I know. I would be if I wasn't sick, but such is life. All right, y'all, I'm out.